Gadget God here, and welcome to the next episode of Complete Nintendo 64 Collection. And boy, do we have a lot of good games to show off here today. So this is where we all go together on the journey to collect the entire North American Nintendo 64 set. That's 296 games complete with their boxes and manuals. Now, if you didn't know, getting the boxes and manuals for N64 games is extremely difficult. So my goals are to get all the games as cheap as possible and in as mint condition as possible. I also want to tell you the development history of any of these video games and what type of game that that game is like and also my childhood memories of any of these games. And the other thing that I'll do in this video is accept any donations if you guys want to leave a message down below. I'll pay for shipping if you want to send me a game or a, a manual, whatever it is. I'm always happy to take donations. So with that said, let's jump on into the goodness. Ooh, a lot of boxes today. So first thing, since there's a lot of boxes, I'm going to go ahead and clean some of these up a little bit. Easy. Gentle, my children. Take some of these out. Ooh, there's a rare game. We're gonna go ahead and just start with this one right here. Pull it out the box. Now what we have right here is, I know what it is, I can already tell. And I bought it. Shadow Man for the Nintendo 64. Now, Shadow Man, if you notice, it is a mature rated game. Now, back with the N64 era, mature games on the N64 are extremely few and far between. For example, Conker's Bad Fur Day, that was a mature game, and got the sticker right here, recommended for mature audiences only. Now, this was actually a port from a PC game at the time. Got this really cool 3D kind of, uh, effect here on the cover very very glossy see the box is in exceptional condition no creases nothing like that and then on the back this is like a third person game and there's weapons and there's gore and that's a pretty cool shot right there but this isn't a game that we had as kids but I do remember seeing it on the rental store shelf go ahead and pop it open all the goodies inside happy Halloween so here we have the cartridge, we can see it's in beautiful shape. It does have the sticker on the back there, but what are you gonna do? So eventually I will need to get a cart upgrade of this, but the box and the manual, those are the most important, most difficult things to get. Has the poster, has the paperwork, has the original manual, which is in great shape. So you can tell it's not a rental, because there would have been rental stickers on the manual as well. So I got this game for well below the average price. This is a tricky game to get complete in the box. Um, just because since it was a mature rated game, there weren't a trillion of these. There were, there were a lot of these, but um, since it was mature rated, a lot of people couldn't rent it or they couldn't buy it. So um, to especially find this in this kind of shape, you can tell the original owner was uh, a mature person and that's why the box is still in such good shape. I appreciate it. I'm going to open one of these bigger boxes next. Actually, that one's pretty heavy. This one's super light, so there's probably only one game in here. We'll bust this one open. Very safe packaging. What a gentleman or gentle lady. Oh, I know who this one came from. Got the manual inside. Got the other paperwork. There it is. Look at that. Look at that treasure. Let me get all the pieces out. Just make sure I didn't miss anything. So this is actually another game that I got from Blue Esper video games, and I will put the link to their eBay store down below. They do have other websites such as uh, a Twitch and a Facebook, so definitely check them out. These are the people who really cut me some crazy solid deals on some very difficult to get complete games. As we can see here, we have Mega Man 64. Let me just get the manual out. Now they really gave me a super deal on this uh, Mega Man 64 box and manual because that's the hardest part to get for Mega Man 64. Now we can see boxes in wonderful shape. Back, wonderful shape, super, super happy with that. Mega Man 64 is a pretty polarizing video game because this was the first 3D Mega Man and Mario, Super Mario 64 had already come out and Nintendo had showed everyone how to do a 3D game, but this being the first 3D Mega Man game, Capcom kind of did their own thing. You would actually use the shoulder buttons to, to rotate the camera angle and rotate Mega Man. And it was not very fun. It was definitely not smooth. 
but this is a cool game if you love Mega Man then definitely go for it it's not a game that we had as kids but I knew it was around um, we weren't really a huge Mega Man family still I, I don't love Mega Man I love him as a character look at that guy he doesn't even have his helmet on savage this game is really difficult to get complete. I don't have the cartridge yet, so that's still something I'm looking for. If you got it, feel free to donate it. And then, just another shout out to Blue Esper Video Games. Here is that Mortal Kombat 4 manual that I didn't think was in the box. It was actually in the bottom of the package. So that was my goof, they did send it. What great people, definitely check them out. Blue Esper Video Games, uh, I do believe they have two eBay stores. One is big and one is massive and they have tons of rare games so definitely check them out i'll put the link to their store down below um really great people and super happy that they were willing to work with me and set me up for a super super great deal on the Mega Man 64 boxing manual and some other pieces which i've shown in previous episodes we have another bundle deal that i did with a single person and that's where I got Snowboard Kids 2 and the expansion module in a single deal. Essentially, um, this is one of the most rare games for the Nintendo 64, and that's because it's awesome. Snowboard Kids, the original, was a game that we rented all the time. I wish we had bought it, but for whatever reason, we just kept renting it. And Snowboard Kids 2 was a late in the life cycle release for the Nintendo 64, and we didn't even know this was a game because our rental store didn't have it. But Snowboard Kids 2 is phenomenal. It plays like Mario Kart, but it's downhill racing and you get items. The characters are really fun. This is an awesome game, but again, one of the uh, most difficult to get Nintendo 64 games. And that's just a cartridge. If you want a complete in box, good luck. I want that so bad, but that's so difficult to get. And the seller had the bundle with the expansion pack as well. Now you probably saw in a previous video I have Donkey Kong 64, which was supposed to come with the expansion pack, but my bundle did not have the expansion pack. So now I have it, I can, I can add it to the Donkey Kong 64 bundle. And the expansion pack is basically like the hardware upgrade for your Nintendo 64. It gave you better graphics, things like that. So this is gonna go in my Donkey Kong 64 box. But the deal that they set me up with here was, this is expensive to buy, this is relatively expensive to buy, but they had them in a bundle. So essentially I said, look, I'll give you the retail for Snowboard Kids 2 and essentially they're just throwing in the expansion pack. I really needed both, so I basically just bought Snowboard Kids 2, which is in great condition, as you can see. That's huge, I wouldn't have if it wasn't, and this was thrown in for free, so uh, that was a super deal, super happy to have that, and let's go ahead and open up some more beautiful games. Let me go ahead and slide some of these back. Careful. Oh, look at that little sneaky creeper. This is the manual, and the manual only to StarCraft 64. StarCraft 64 is a real-time strategy game. I'm sure you know what StarCraft is. It's on the PC, but I bet you didn't know it was also released on the Nintendo 64. Now, a real-time strategy game usually requires a mouse and a keyboard, so very few people bought this on the Nintendo 64 that your little, little tiny units. Now, if you want this game complete in box, the cart alone is very expensive. The manual alone is very expensive. The box by itself is even more expensive. So someone had this for a super, super low uh, bidding price. You know, they started at 99 cents. It definitely is damaged and worn, but to buy this by itself, I could put this on eBay and, and resell it if I wanted for an absurd amount of money for just a pack of paper. So the front and rear covers are definitely worn but for the price that they were offering this at, I'm going for the whole set, I could not deny it. It, it was less than, than, it was about $5, let's put it that way. And if you buy this by itself, go, go look it up on eBay, I dare you. You probably can't even find just the manual. So this is a super expensive thing, so I just picked it up, why not? I don't have the game or the box, so I'm still looking for those, but I'm checking StarCraft 64 manual off of my list. I will be looking for a manual upgrade later, but until then, I'm very happy to have that piece. Ooh, got some goodies in here. One of these I'm super, super excited about. Spoilers, there it is. Super, super excited about that. Get this out of the way. So this was a two game deal that I did with somebody. Uh, definitely wanna show this off first. Mickey Speedway USA, look at that. This is a Rare game, it's made by Rare. One of the best developers ever, especially during the N64 era. And this is their version of essentially Mario Kart, but it's using Disney characters. Box is in awesome, awesome shape. 
This is not a game that we had as kids. I didn't even get the chance to play it. I know it's obviously not as good as Mario Kart, but it's still a kart racer. It's got Disney characters. It's got weapons that you pick up and throw at people, four player, multiplayer. And um, since kart racers are really the bread and butter and some of the best games on the N64, I wanted to get this in as best shape as I could. So I had to be patient and wait for it. It's a tiny bit of creasing. You can barely see it because it's so minimal, but that box is in beautiful shape. Manual, literally never even used. And then, and then the cartridge we can see is in absolutely beautiful shape. This is one of those games that I genuinely really, really want to play and enjoy, not just collect it. So I wanted to get this in as perfect condition as I could. Did it, check it off, Mickey Speedway USA. I definitely recommend it. It's not as good as Mario Kart. It's not as good as Diddy Kong Racing but it's still an awesome game. I definitely recommend that. Another game from that bundle with that person. And again, I got this for a super, super low price, especially complete in box. Since it's Disney and it's rare, a lot of people on eBay want to pretend this is worth a million dollars. It's not. You can get it for uh, a pretty low price, but to get it mint, I had to be very patient with that. Another game from that same seller I got for even less than I got uh, Disney's Speedway is Toy Story 2, Buzz Lightyear to the Rescue. Manual is mint, cartridge is mint, price is low, box is crisp and mint. Again, this isn't a game that we had as kids because, you know, I, I wanted some crazy games. I wanted fun games. I wanted Conker's Bad Fur Day and Jet Force Gemini. I wasn't dying for a Toy Story game, but this is like a third person adventure game. It's cool, it's a good game, but it's not one that I had as a kid and it's not one that uh, I was really screaming for. It does have a tear back here on the box. A little heartbreaking, so that means eventually I'll have to get the box upgrade. But super happy to get this bundle deal. Some awesome games that we added in this video. Really happy about that. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna go ahead and throw one more in there before we wrap it up for this episode. And this one might look kind of interesting. It's almost like you're looking in a mirror. I'm looking in a mirror. So what happened here was <clears throat> I picked this up for ultra cheap. This is NBA hang time and this is the successor to NBA Jam. So they had NBA Jam, one of my favorite games of all time. I played it so much on the Sega Genesis and then they came out with a college jam. I played all of them, all the NBA Jam games for the 16-bit systems, and then NBA Hang Time, I only got to play this a few times, so I really couldn't wait to get this one and add to my collection, play the cartridge like crazy. So I got this bundle with the box, which is in uh, average shape, and you know, it's got tape on it, but it does have the manual, which is in great shape, and it also has the paperwork and the registration card, and then the cartridge, which is also in beautiful shape. So I got this for really, really, really cheap, but I was very happy, I had to be patient and wait for that. So then, I knew I had to upgrade the box. Someone then, a completely different person, had a couple games in a bundle, I'll show that in a, in a future episode, but this was one of the items, just the box. They sold me just the box for five bucks. Uh, it might have actually been four bucks, but the box is in really, really good shape, especially compared to the one that I had already bought. So this is a box upgrade for NBA hang time. So now I'll have to do something else with this extra box here, but really happy to have this. Like I said, this is the successor to NBA Jam. Arcade basketball, two on two, super fun, really crazy. You're doing backflips when you dunk, you're shooting half court shots. Oh my, he's on fire. You know the deal, this is an awesome game. I'm really, really happy to have this one. So that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for this episode of Complete Nintendo 64 Collection. I wanna thank you all for watching. I really appreciate the support. If you guys have anything you'd like to donate, definitely leave a message down below. It could be a game, a box, it could be a controller, whatever it is, I'll pay the shipping costs, so that makes it free for you. And I'll give you a shout out in the next video for anything that you donate. I really do appreciate it, guys. If you have any questions or comments, put them down below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, Click subscribe to join the Gadget God Squad. And if you didn't know already, I'm the Gadget God. I do the research, so you don't have to. Thanks for watching, everybody. And get extra mega today.